Hey guys, Lisa Zabaniak here from lifelikeyouminute.com coming to you live to talk about beating imposter syndrome. Today's NLP strategy that I'd like to talk to you about or introduce to you today is the concept of a simple question really. Who are you comparing yourself to? Now, bear with me here. You know, when we are putting so much pressure on ourselves, when we are, you know, saying we're not good enough, anybody else could come and do the job better. Nobody could learn anything from me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm too stupid. When we are doing those those things, whether we realize it or not, we're comparing ourselves to someone else, even if it's an elusive someone else, we're comparing ourselves to what we think we should be or who we think we should be. We're comparing ourselves to the elusive perfectionist that would do everything right and you know be awesome at it, even if we've never met that person even if we've never actually seen them in action and said, yes, that's what I want to be like, we still conjure up an idea of this person and we are comparing ourselves endlessly to them. Never mind if you actually do have somebody in mind who you do want to emulate, you do admire, you want to be just like them, you're inspired by them, that almost make it a lot worse, right? Because it seems really tangible then because you've got somebody that you know or know of who has actually done it. But in NLP, you know, oftentimes what we do is just talk. We just figure out, you know, well, what's, what's going on with you? And you start to, you know, say these types of things. You know, what's that mantra that's going on inside your head? all right, well, you know, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, I'm worthless, I'm useless. And really, why? Who, who put that in your head? Is, is this you comparing yourself to somebody who you think is really intelligent and really beautiful and does a great job with everything and everybody likes them and they bring value to the lives that they touch and you're comparing yourself with, with them, perhaps? When you start to actually realize that you're doing stuff like that, it actually makes a huge difference. Because if you've watched any of my videos, both on anxiety and on imposter syndrome, you'll see a real theme here, which is the concept of awareness. When we become aware of what we're doing, it's almost like we flip a switch where we suddenly can't do that anymore. It just, it becomes impossible to kind of feed the beast, if you will, when you know that that's a beast, right? So just becoming clear with yourself when you start to have that negative mantra with imposter syndrome that no doubt you have, and you start talking yourself out of doing something that you really want, right? Whether that's work or whether that's in your personal life, doesn't matter. You start talking yourself out of doing it because you're starting to convince yourself that nobody will want to or you'll make a fool of yourself or you won't be good enough or you won't be able to complete it or whatever it is that we're talking about. Catch it and then simply ask yourself, compared to who? Right? I'm not going to be good enough. Compared to who? I won't get it right. Compared to who? <laughs> right? And hopefully what this process does for you is to start, number one, making you realize that perhaps that illusion of perfection that you've got out there that you're comparing yourself against, you realize is actually an illusion, that there is no such thing as perfection. And hopefully it also opens your eyes to, you know, who are you looking at, for examples, and are they really perfect? Right. If you're looking at your boss, for example, and, and his or her ability to lead a meeting and you're terrified to speak in front of people, do you ever see them glitch up? Do you ever see them um and ah, not know what to say next? Just read something off of a PowerPoint or somebody asks them a question and they're like, you know what? I'll have to get back to you on that. Right? How come that's not what you're comparing with? Right. How come you're you're comparing yourself to the perceived idea 
of them being able to do it better than you. Because again, perfection doesn't exist. And the people in your life that you are looking up to and you are inspired by aren't perfect. They make choices every day, just like all of us do. And sometimes they don't go according to plan, right? So start comparing yourself with yourself. Start comparing apples to apples, right? Start looking at people's flaws as well as all of the great things about them and realize that that's what makes a perfect person is their flaws included. And that just because maybe you don't feel like you can stand up and give that same presentation with the same gusto doesn't mean that you wouldn't with practice or doesn't mean that the people that would be listening to your presentation wouldn't get a heck of a lot out of it, right? Really make sure that you are clear on who you're comparing yourself with and if that's a real straight apples to apples comparison. And what a lot of you will probably find is that you don't have that perfect person in your mind, that there isn't somebody that you are trying to role model off of, that you it's actually an idea rather than an actual person. And so then comes some deeper thought of, well, how come? How come you've got this really amazing idea of what this should look like, but you haven't been able to find anybody to model that from in your life? Is that because the expectation is too high that you're assuming that to be able to do this great thing over here means that you have to be perfect in everything in your life? Are you really seeing the people in your life as well as you for every part of them that they have, right? Their flaws and all, because that's what makes us so lovable, I think, is our flaws more than our greatness is. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that that helps. Please feel free to leave some comments for me. Let me know um, how you're doing. If you're suffering with imposter syndrome, what works for you, what you'd like to hear me talk about. I'm going to go on live every day if I can manage to be able to talk about NLP coping strategies that you can use for your imposter syndrome. Head on over to my website, which is lifelikeyoumeanit.com slash NLP. And you can learn loads more about all the ways that NLP can help. And any questions that you've got, frequently asked questions are on there. And feel free to book a free discovery call with me. Thank you so much. Bless. I hope that helped. Bye.